welcome back to the chaos we are actually in the chaos garage today going to be working on the 350z again and this go around track prep continues so we're going for uh the rear brakes today so we're going to take split them up into sections so we're just going to tackle the back uh, before it gets to the front but the back should be a little bit easier because i'm keeping the same calipers so it's going to be changing rotors pads and then obviously brake fluid but that's what we're getting into so let's jump on in so to start there are two bolts on the back of the caliper they're both 19s so we're just going to break those free Well, it took an act of Congress and He-Man Paul to use his Italian stallion strength and bust these 19s loose, but he got them, so now I get to follow up with the easy part. One side down. So once you bust the nut, just those two 19s, you're good to go. So now that we've got the caliper out of the way, we should just be able to slide these rotors off and replace them with the new ones. Basically this install would not happen without Paul. <laughs> so he was able to just bust free. I mean, he hit it with a hammer, hit it with a hammer, and eventually was able to just knock it loose and was able to just pull the rotor off. So it will come off, just keep banging. <laughs> so it also helps we spray some PB Blaster around each one of the studs and then also like the center point as well. It's been a hot minute since I've actually picked the camera up it's actually been a week, <laughs> technically. So what I found out was I'm a dumb dumb and I ordered the wrong parts. So my car came without the Brembo option, which we're gonna be converting the front to the Brembo style, like the four piston setup. But the rear, I was just gonna leave alone. Well, I got a little carried away and I ordered the rotors for the Brembo style and they're just a little bit thicker on the rear. So that wasn't gonna work with the, with the uh, smaller calipers here. We have the new parts and This go around they are the correct ones for the non Brembo rears and then we're gonna match those with the Hawk pads So they should work out good for the track. But yeah, we went with the drilled and slotted rotors for both the front and the rear So now that I've got the correct parts we can pick up where we left off So we have everything disassembled and huge shout out to Paul He really came in clutch and was able to like break all this stuff free <laughs> He was basically the muscle behind the job. Um, so he left us in a good position. So now we should just be able to throw the correct new parts on. So that's where we're gonna pick up is throwing that new rotor on. Before I throw the pads in, it comes with the grease. So you're gonna wanna throw the grease, not on the contact surface part, but on the backside. But that'll keep it from squealing and making all kinds of crazy noises. So we're gonna lube them up and throw them on the caliper. Absolute worst time for the battery to die, but for the driver's side, I've actually gone ahead, just because my hands were so tied up, I was able to finish this side. I haven't cranked it down or nothing like that. Um, I got to a stopping point, so I'll show you what we got done. We got the caliper back in place, um, I ended up, I'll hopefully do a better job showing you on the other side, but I've got the caliper pushed back, like the little piston inside the caliper, had to push it back and then popped our pads in and then mounted our caliper back on a rotor. So now I just got to tighten everything down. The torque specs for the rear caliper bolts are between 53 and 71 foot pounds. So I'll probably split the difference, go about 65 foot pounds. Let's do that now. <laughs> One trick that I kind of learned on the other side to compress the piston. So while we got the old rotor and the old caliper on here, 
there's this little window right here. So I'm actually gonna stick a screwdriver in there and just kind of pry back on our brake pad to push that piston in. So I'm just gonna pull on it like this. And I just have our caliper loosely on here, but it should push back just enough to clear the new brake pads. Hopefully that'll do it. Torquing them down is no fun, <laughs> especially because I can't fit, I have two different types of torque wrenches and I can't fit either one of them, like have enough space in the wheel well to actually be able to crank it down to see exactly, you know, what torque spec I'm getting to. So I gave it my best effort. <laughs> they are tight and the bad part is this is a whole learning experience. I mean, everything I do with the car is I've either only done once or twice or it's brand new. So with these drilled and slotted rotors, <laughs> I put them on the wrong side. So I realized if you actually look at the slotted part, it should point towards the rear of the vehicle. So I had them completely backwards. So I had the driver's side on the passenger side and the passenger side on the driver's side. So I've actually undone them. So I knew they were actually pretty tight and nearly as tight as they were trying to get them off, like the caliper bolts. So I think I did a good job just cranking on them. So that's kind of, after I flip flopped them, that's exactly what I did again, which is crank on them. So this job should be done. I'm gonna put the wheels back on and then we'll check um, the brake fluid level. Hopefully I won't have to touch that, I'm not sure. But we'll check that and also pump the brakes just to get some of the, the squishiness hopefully out of the, out of the brake pedal if there is any. Before I throw the wheel back on, I will admit they do look really good and hopefully they stop a whole lot better too. We're one step closer to being track ready. Thank goodness we finally got the rears knocked out. But of course, in true chaos fashion, there had to be a little heartbreak along the way. But the rears are on now, they look phenomenal. So hopefully they perform as well as they look. Stay tuned to the next video because we we'll actually be putting a big brake hit on the front of the car. I appreciate everybody watching. If you will, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one.